I'm Peter Blanc here at ACC 17 in Washington, D.C., and with me is Kausik Ray. Kausik has just talked about in Glycerin, uh, a different way of dealing with PCSK9. And as you know, PCSK9 inhibition and Evolucumab in the four-year trial are what everybody is talking about at ACC 17. So I'm going to ask Kausik to tell me about his trial, which is a little different, and the mechanism, which is a lot different. So okay. Kausik, tell me about your trial. Thank you very much, Dr. Block. So, PCSK9 is a validated target for lowering LDL cholesterol and for reducing cardiovascular risk. Now, the question is, how are you going to do this? So, currently, if you think about the mechanisms that we have with, for example, evolocumab and monoclonal, this is a bit like using a bucket to remove the water. So, in contrast, inclycerin turns off the faucet and it uses a technology called RNA interference. So, with a single subcutaneous injection, this compound is taken up by the liver and it breaks down messenger RNA for PCSK9. And this has a long durability, uh, long duration of action. So the trial that we did was a phase two dose ranging study. And what we identified is that either with the starting regimen of a single dose, you actually over nine months got on average 41% reduction. The maximum reduction was over 50%, but the average was about 41. And if you use a two-dose starting regimen with a second injection administered at uh, three months, then over a nine-month period, the average LDL reduction is 50%. So at nine months, you can then have a six-monthly dosing interval. What we also importantly found, in contrast to what you saw with SPI1 and 2, is that everybody responded to inclycerin. There were no non-responders. The minimum amount was about a 20% reduction. The maximum was as much as 80%. The average reduction was 52.6% at day 180. And more importantly is the absolute benefit, which we know translates into clinical events. That was over 60 mg per deciliter. It's more like about 68 mg per deciliter. Well, those are awesome outcomes. But, you know, as I listen to you talking about this, it seems to me that the important issue here is that the patient is no longer responsible for dealing with this, right? You just come in, get your shot every six months, and you're sort of done. Absolutely, and I think that's one of the biggest advantages of this. It takes out the variability of patient compliance, patient adherence. There's an abstract tomorrow looking at monoclonal showing that actually only 50% of people in Medicare actually comply with the regimen. If you took it every two weeks, then yes, you would get those reductions. If you space out the injections, you won't. The beauty of inclycerin is that once you've injected it, it's just working. So uh, the reductions that you get with uh, inclycerin are just about the same as evolucumab. They're comparable. Yeah. And uh, the outcomes we know with evolucumab are remarkable. Absolutely. Do you think that you can get down as low as 20 to 30 milligrams per deciliter with your drug? Absolutely. One big determinant of that is your starting level. So if you start people very, very high and your average reduction is, you know, 50, or maximum reduction 55 percent, your average is about 53 percent. There are some people, so we got about 5 to 10 percent to be below 25. 50% of people got below 50. So depending upon where you start, and we start at 128, you will get some people down as low as that, absolutely. So uh, this is a safety and efficacy trial, a dose ranging trial, and you obviously can say you think there's going to be differences in outcome, but you don't know that. Are you looking forward to the outcomes trial, that which obviously you folks are gonna do? Yes, so we will be starting a cardiovascular outcomes trial later on this year. It will include people with established cardiovascular disease and people with uh, high risk primary prevention but with a high baseline LDL because we think that's important and we think that's where the unmet need particularly is. Okay, so uh, the PCSK9 story continues to unfold and like everything else, there's always new wrinkles and new ways of doing things. This is an exciting perhaps next step and we'll see what the uh, clinical trials actually show us but it sounds to me like you're pretty positive. I am. Thank you. Thank you very much.